Hi, my name is Shane McNally, and I will be speaking on behalf of Carlos Carter, Andrew Leonard, and Clarence Johnson. To begin, before I introduce anything, I would like to put my phone on the charger, which currently is at 15%. This is our fully working product, finished, designed, and 3D printed. It is now charging. Uh, when presented this project, uh, Carlos, Andrew, and Clarence and I uh, wanted to come up with something that would really be influential and it would really be something that hasn't been thought of before. We met at, right outside the Cub at one of the tent areas, which is outside, for social distancing. While there, we came up with many different ideas and products that we all thought that we could do. Carlos and I came up with the idea of a mask that would be able to uh, be functional and it would be able to use different designs of uh, different textiles. Um, Andrew came up with some hydroelectric type products and Clarence came up with an, an idea for an electronic calendar. I was writing everything down in my notes on my phone because I didn't have my laptop on me and that's when my phone died. And the meeting was pretty much over at that point because my phone died and I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't write anything down. I didn't have anything else. I had a charger on me, but I didn't. Uh, we weren't going inside, and I couldn't plug it into a wall. And I don't like carrying those big, bulky charging packs because they're really expensive and they're just inconvenient to have. So we came up with... Uh, we decided to brainstorm what else we could do, and that's when it hit us to come up with the idea for a, a truly portable uh, battery that stuck to your phone and allowed you to charge anywhere on the go, wherever you wanted to. Uh, and that product was the portable battery pack sticker. Um, the, one of the challenges in portable charging, like I said before, is that they either f they fit two of the three uh, necessities that you want in a product. One of them being uh, that it works, it charges your phone. Another one being size and weight. And another one being uh, cordless. Now, a lot of these, like I said before, have two of the three. With the big battery pack chargers, they're very heavy, they're very expensive, and they also have a uh, wire attached to them that you need to plug your phone into and you can't fit it in your pocket. With the regular chargers you have to plug them into a wall and you can't do that if you are outside or uh, not near a outlet. And another one of those products is a Mophie case that attaches onto your phone and while that is wireless and it is uh, lightweight they are very bulky and they are very wide and you can't fit them into your pocket. It's hard for the normal person to hold on to it. And they, uh, you still have to plug them in at night. With our product, you can share it between others. You can, uh, as long as they have a wireless charging capable phone, you can hand it off and they can stick it to the back of their phone. Um, it is lightweight. It fits perfectly in your hand and your pocket. And it's not terribly expensive. The products on the market are one way or another, and I say that because they're either very cheap, they don't charge right, they uh, take forever to charge, or they're extremely expensive and they don't do everything that they're supposed to do. We wanted to create something that gets rid of all the competition and while there is competition, and there are good charging units out there, we do believe that ours is the best because of all the things that it can do that other products cannot. There were many challenges throughout our process. Uh, first off, coming up with an idea and uh, actually visualizing something that we could put together. None of us have a background in uh, anything electrical or anything like this. Um, but we decided that we still wanted to give it a shot to really push ourselves and try something new. Uh, when thinking about it, we 
wanted to do something that would stretch us to the limit of what we were capable of. And by completing this, we proved to ourselves that we were able to do something to this extent. We enlisted the help of a few different people. Uh, we had my roommate, which 3D printed the uh, case, and he also designed on CAD the uh, design of what we wanted to go for. Um, we enlisted the help of Clarence's friends, who also thought about the sticking on design. We wanted to make sure that uh, the product worked too. We didn't want to show up here with, with a product that didn't work. So we also enlisted the help of many YouTube videos. We sat down and had Zoom calls uh, many times a week, sometimes for hours late into the night, just deciding just deciding what we really wanted to do. So we decided through many hours of deliberation and changing and scrapping and so many different sketches and designs and everything else. I'm sorry for the noise. I can't uh, tell the neighbors anything right now. Um, so anyway, please ignore that. Uh, where was I? I'm sorry. So we faced many challenges, but we fought through them and we wanted to show that we had uh, the capabilities to create something. And within entrepreneurship, it is struggles until you create something that is truly impactful. And we do believe that we have something in this product. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, our product, what we really wanted to put into it was something that truly worked. So we uh, researched and consulted many different areas of uh, people and uh, stores and websites that had the expertise that we didn't to understand what we needed to do to put this together. We sought out the help of uh, engineering majors, we sought out the help of micro center employees, and we also uh, set uh, we also set off the uh, influence of YouTube and the, uh, the rest of the internet. We went with a charging coil um, that Apple actually uses. We were able to get that off of Amazon, and we were able to get a uh, unit, a motherboard unit, um, from the same website. Uh, through soldering and other YouTube videos, we're able to connect pieces together to really figure out what we needed to do. Uh, the case itself is actually 3D printed, and the other side of the case is a uh, piece of metal that we got out of uh, the clearance bin at Walmart uh, that would be able to have the strength that we really needed and had uh, the sleek look and capabilities that we really wanted. Um, the 3D printing was implemented uh, because metal would be too thick to uh, allow for the uh, wireless charging, uh, to connect to the wireless charging receiver into the phone, to the wireless charger transmitter in our uh, device. The device is uh, run off, it has a total of 100% uh, battery capabilities, which means that it would be able to give 100% to a phone. Uh, and this was important to us because, like I said earlier, my phone was on 12%, and I'm not going to check it until the end to uh, show you that it does charge. But uh, if I wanted to give this charger to somebody when I was done, they would be able to get a certain percentage out of it to help their phone. So it's something that can be shared amongst people if you, if you need it. It's something for everybody. Anybody can use it. Uh, the phones that are capable of using this 
or anything after the iPhone 8 and anything after the I, uh, the uh, Samsung S7. The, and most people do have that. Uh, like I said earlier, the product price point, uh, we wanted to go with something that didn't break the bank, but was also enough for us to keep our uh, high quality that we wanted to implement in the device itself. Uh, like I said earlier, they can be as expensive as $120. We will be going with $34.99 for our product. Uh, our product is something that is 3D printed, which is a more expensive material. And metal is something that uh, we have to fabricate in the future. Um, so that's how we came up with the $35. The charging coil itself is around $7, and the uh, board inside of it was around $12. Uh, throughout the process, uh, we were able to enlist the help of my roommate, who uh, was able to design it. Uh, we also enlisted his help in putting it together as well, and we were able to get that done for around $25 uh, in itself. Uh, the design process was a little bit more expensive, but it always is, and that was a one-time cost. Um, we figure that we can train our employees once we get to that point uh, and pay them around $12 to $13 an hour for uh, piecing everything together. Um, and the training would not be that much training at all because it would be the same thing over and over again. Uh, marketing. The marketing aspect was a very interesting one. Uh, we chose that the product, uh, the not the product, I'm sorry, uh, the target market, the, our main target market for this product would be students. But it's not the only people that could use this product, obviously. Uh, I made a joke with the group during a Zoom call, and I remember uh, saying this. I said, anybody could be a user of this product, it does. It, all you have to do is be somebody that goes outside. And quite frankly, that's the case. I'm inside and my phone died, so even people inside could use the product. Um, we want to construct a target market of uh, people who are between the ages of uh, 15, which is the average age of somebody who gets their first smartphone, and 35, which is still considered a young adult. These type of people are students, adventurers, campers, uh, workers, and many other things that require them to have their phone on them 24-7. Um, if you're camping and you need to find your way back to the parking lot after a hike, uh, this product ensures you that you will get to the place that you need to go. Uh, for students and people in the workforce, this product ensures you that you have your piece of technology on you at all times to write down notes, to uh, write and respond to emails, and just stay connected within your place that you need to be. Our website, uh, our website is currently in the works and it should be finished. Uh, Andrew took the liberties of creating a website and uh, the logo, actually, that I showed earlier, that was my lock screen. Um, we put together the website to truly demonstrate how committed we are to this product. Um, the website, it has pages about us. It has pages about what our, um, what our influences were in this product and why we are the best product. It also has a uh, fake link to purchase uh, the product and this is what it will look like if we do plan to launch this product. Uh, there are tons of opportunities within this to truly be used. Um, we made it for everybody. It's a product that can be used by anybody and the uh, potential is unlimited. We could create something for laptops, we could create something that works with any type of phone in the future. 
uh, as technology advances, more and more phones are becoming uh, built in with these wireless charging cables. So it's just more and more phones that are able to use a product like this. Our social media presence, uh, we would plan on having a Instagram page and a Facebook page. Uh, Instagram is very big with uh, young teens to uh, even now full blown adults. Um, this is a product that, not this is a product, this is a uh, social media marketing is very important to us because nothing can be closer to a phone than a phone charger and this could this product could be seen in ver uh, various different events like instagram photos tiktok videos and facebook uploads um with that we can also advertise within a uh, promoted video or a promoted picture on any of these platforms um the direct marketing would just be that anybody who we want to have this product would have a phone so that's why a majority of our marketing would be electronic marketing on these different social apps we would also uh, put out email marketing and uh, stuff like that um, and I guess all I have to say now is just take my phone off the charger and say that in the uh, 15 or so minutes that this presentation has been, my phone has gone up 15%. It's now at 26%. Uh, and I can show off the product a little bit more. Uh, so this interface right here is 3D printed. I don't know if I could show that. There you go. This is 3D printed and this center right here uh, connects to the wireless charging itself. I can put that right on there. And it will start going. Uh, and the other side, this is metal. Uh, we had a problem connecting the two, uh, so that's why in the time being it is just taped and super glued together. Um, we also had a problem with our uh, adhesive strips with leaving campus so early our adhesive strips are set to arrive uh, they were set to arrive on uh, Monday but they were pushed back even later uh, to later in the week so we had to cancel that order and we didn't want to show up with tape and we also didn't want to ruin the uh, test phone so we just didn't get around to putting that together but in the future, it will attach right onto the back and you will be allowed to transfer it to person, from person to person. So uh, since we weren't able to have any questions uh, posed to us, we decided that to reach out to our correspondents and see if they had any questions about our product. Uh, the first question is how much does the product cost and do you see the product uh, becoming cheaper in the future? And the answer to that is yes to both. Uh, the product is uh, both 3D printed and metal, along with the components on the inside. Um, we would be able to lessen the cost, cost of the product once we get the knack for uh, creating it in itself. Uh, and once we truly create a simpler and easy way to create the product, we would definitely be able to uh, lower the cost to around 12 or so dollars. We could also wholesale the uh, coil receiver, the board inside, and the different uh, units of charging on the inside. Um, we could also uh, purchase or rent our own 3D printer and buy bulk 3D printing material as well. Um, another question uh, was received of what happens when the uh, product is wanted to be more aesthetically pleasing. Of course this is a prototype and uh, it is all black and it is uh, not as pretty as what we want it to be, but we do see it among the lines of something that could be as popular as a pop socket 
and a pop socket is something that attaches to the back of your phone and uh, it comes in many various different colors and we can see this being something that is exactly like that with different designs, uh, different colors and uh, different shapes even. Um, we could also implement something more of a wallet attached to it as well. Uh, many phones have a little sleeve for a credit card or something and that is uh, another thing that could be implemented for the future. The possibilities are endless, honestly, and we could use uh, many different ideas that we have from our consumers to really make this thing as visually pleasing as possible. Uh, the main thing that we wanted to make sure that this product had was uh, just that it worked, and it worked well. And as you can see, with the short amount of time that it had, it did go up to 26% from 12. So we were able to prove that this is a working uh, product that that anybody will be able to use. Um, and with that, I thank you for listening to our presentation. Uh, enjoy.